Hey guys, it's Jen. I am here in my kitchen getting ready to make dinner. Um, I have found a recipe online for chow mein, like a healthy chow mein, using um, zucchini, spiralized zucchini noodles instead of regular noodles. And so I wanted to make that. So I planned on making that. And then some of the ingredients that I needed that I thought I had, I didn't have. Um, so it needed celery and apparently someone ate all the celery and I didn't know it. So instead of celery, I cut up some bell peppers, some red, orange, and yellow bell peppers. I know it doesn't taste the same as celery, but whatever, I'm going to use that. Um, and it needed green onions, which apparently I'm out of as well. So I'm going to like thinly, thinly slice a red onion. But I like onions, so that will have to do. And then it needed green cabbage, but I like the purple cabbage, so I bought purple cabbage. And that is about what's different about it. So hopefully it still turns out. I don't know if that would still be considered chow mein since I'm putting bell peppers in it and regular onions, but we'll see how it turns out because I'm still going to be using like the um, seasoning or like make the sauce the way it asked to so it should still taste good and I don't know I just have to like chop most of this up I've only chopped up the bell peppers um, the carrots it says shredded carrots I used to have one of those salad shooting machines where you'd put it in and it would come out like in shreds but um, it quit working and I don't know why so I'm gonna try and use a cheese grater to grate my carrot so we'll see how well that works and hopefully I don't like grate my fingers off but I am going to start cooking this or preparing this so that I can cook it for dinner and um, I have to go grab a couple things and I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna try shredding this carrot I started it looks like it's working so I'm gonna try finishing shredding it up but I have a feeling I'm gonna be wasting some of the bottom because I'm afraid that I'm going to grate off my finger. And I really wish I still had my salad shooter. That would be much, much easier. Well, that is not much of a waste, so that is fine. I need to move these zucchinis that are in my way. So I can cut off that end of the carrot and this end of the carrot. So... Yesterday, um, I had taken part of my um, walk, or it was supposed to be the first part of my walk on my lunch at work. Um, I went and I walked two miles, which left me one mile that I would do after work really quickly, like walking a few blocks around here, even though it was going to be dark. But then after work, stuff came up, and there was places that we had to go that hadn't been planned on and I didn't get home until like 8.30 and then I felt it was too late to go out on walking in the dark. So yesterday I only did two miles and I feel really bad about that because it's the first time in like 21 days that I didn't do at least three miles. So I tried to make myself feel better by telling myself that there is other days where I did four miles, one day I did five miles, um, and a lot of days I did three and a half miles at least, so it kind of made up for it, but still I felt guilty. So I'm trying to get this dinner ready early so that I can get out and get my walk. Um, they actually let me off work early because it was super slow again today. So I'm preparing this, and then when I'm done, before I actually cook it, I'm going to go take my walk. I'm going to measure these carrots now to see if I need to keep shredding. Which I do. It looks like I'll have to, because I need... I'm doubling the recipe so it feeds everybody, and so I need two cups of shredded carrots. So I'm going to have to get another carrot. One more carrot after this one should do it. Yeah, I'm 
I'm really wary of grating my fingers off because the other day I was grating some um, ginger, but it was with the zester, which is sharper than my cheese grater. And I totally like took a chunk out of like my thumb and one of my fingers. And actually, this is just shy of two cups of carrots, so I'm not gonna cut a whole nother carrot because I have more bell peppers here than I needed celery. So since I'm improvising on this recipe and it's not exact as it was anyway, that will have to do. So now I'm gonna have to see how I wanna cut the onion. I just wanna cut it like really thin. And I'll just put it in with the bell pepper. Yeah, thin like that, then it should be fine. I know it's not the same as a green onion, but it will be fine. I really hope that this tastes good because it sounded really good and then when I realized I didn't have the exact ingredients I was a little disappointed but honestly um, a lot of the stuff that I cook even if I find a recipe I end up like altering the recipe and adding things um, in one thing I usually like really like to add extra of is garlic we like garlic a lot here, so I don't know. I add in a lot of garlic. Um, and sometimes I add other seasonings, depending on what it is. So I guess I'm used to not cooking things exactly as they go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my 16-year-old son walked in the house. I don't know if you heard him. Probably not because he was at the front door on the other side of the house. But I heard him come in and he was on the phone with his 16-year-old potty mouth with his friends. So I had decided to turn off the camera so you guys didn't have to hear his potty mouth. So this says that the cabbage should be shredded. Again, I... Don't really have a shredder for anything, so actually I need a bowl. Oh, no, actually I need like two cups of it, so I'll put it in the measuring cup. So I'm just gonna cut it in thin slices, because that's good enough for shredded. Or I don't know, I think it's good enough for shredded, like I said. I'm kind of improvising on this one, because I didn't have everything. But yeah, that looks fine for shredded to me. So just slice thinly my cabbage and like I said it said to use green cabbage but I like the purple cabbage like even when I just make cabbage I use the purple cabbage like I actually have a um, cabbage recipe a purple cabbage recipe that I like a lot and everyone who's ever come over and tried it is like oh wow this is really good and a lot of people I don't know why have not tried red cabbage and they're like oh I never thought of like, trying red cabbage so I don't know if you guys have all used red cabbage but that's what I like and a lot of people that I personally know have not tried the red cabbage which is weird to me but then again, a lot of people I know like have never tried like spaghetti squash and other things that I like a lot. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the people I know don't like to eat like healthy things. Not that I always like to eat healthy things, but even when I was eating bad, there were still like certain healthy things that I did like. almost two cups. This is harder at the top to make it look shredded. But I'll probably use those leaves for another cabbage dish. Because I don't feel like making it harder to chop. So I'll chop more on this side because like I said I've almost got the two cups here. And I got my onions. I'll need to spiralize my zucchinis. But I don't know, that's pretty much all I'm doing today. 
time. I was glad they let me off work. I was having trouble staying awake at work because it was so slow. And then a lot of the calls that I was getting were hang-ups. And then when I have to sit there, when it's really slow, it affects like your productivity anyway. So then you're not doing the number of transactions an hour you need. But I don't know how like they expect you to do the number of transactions when you're not even getting that many calls an hour. Like if they want you to have X amount of transactions and you're getting like one call an hour, I'm not quite sure how that works. So hopefully that picks up. I don't know. It would be really nice if it would. I'm trying to think. I know that there must be something that I'm forgetting here. I know I have to mince some garlic. And I have to get some ginger prepared. Okay, like I said, I'm going to use these cabbage leaves. I'm going to put them up and use them in a recipe later in the week, probably for my purple cabbage, which is super good. Okay, now I need to get my garlic. I don't like when like some of the garlics are really small. I wish they were all really big pieces instead of some really small ones. I don't really like this garlic. That's the middle one. I don't feel like dealing with it right now, so I'm going to use that garlic later. Hang on. I'm going to go get a new one. Okay. This one, since I haven't used it yet, it still has the outer layer, so it has the bigger bulbs left. And that will be easier for me right now. But tomorrow is my weigh-in day, and I don't know why, I'm kind of nervous about it. I feel like I haven't lost any weight this week. Although I felt like that last week, and I think I lost like over 3 pounds. Wasn't it like 3.4 or 3.2? Yeah, so I feel like I haven't this week, but I don't know. I think it's all the stress, like... When there's a lot of stress, sometimes it feels like things aren't going well, but I don't know. I've been mostly staying on point. Last night, though, like I said, I didn't finish my walk, which made me feel bad. And I also ate some popcorn. Like, I made popcorn for the family. And I didn't even eat a lot of it, and I don't normally eat popcorn. And I don't even really know if that's... Like, I don't know. I guess I could look up if it's healthy. I don't feel that it's that healthy. Although, I just seasoned it with um, some Flavor God seasoning. So, I don't know. That's supposed to be healthy. So, maybe it wasn't bad. And really, I only had a couple handfuls. So, and it could have been worse. I could have went and, like, ate a bag of chips or something. So, I guess in the scheme of things, popcorn is not all that bad. But I don't know. Now I'm going to mince my garlic. I need to get a little container. And I'm going to use my garlic press. I used to buy, like, the garlic in the um, jar that was already minced. But it's a lot less expensive to just do this. And I don't know. It's not that difficult, so I prefer to do it this way now. Then again, I do a lot of things the long way. Like, I have a dishwasher over there. And I don't um, use my dishwasher. It's not broken or anything, but I don't really think that, like, dishwashers get dishes that clean. So I just realized that because I can only upload videos from my phone and I can't put them on a computer right now to upload, I may have to split this video into two videos because if it runs over like 15 minutes, it won't let me upload it. And I like rambled on while I was chopping the vegetables for a really long time. I don't know how long, but I did. So right now I have everything like set up to go 
and um, I've heated some toasted sesame seed oil in this pan and so I need to put in cabbage the bell peppers onions and carrots let those cook for a couple minutes there and while these start to cook I am going to start my sauce for the sauce I'm using a half a cup of the coconut aminos I'm doubling my recipe because it's for more than like a couple people so I'm using coconut aminos a half a cup of that and then I'm using the garlic that I minced earlier, plus about a teaspoon of um, ground, not gra um, grated ginger. And then this is coconut sugar. And I need two tablespoons. Like I said, because I'm doubling the recipe. Whisk this all together. minutes and then I will add in the zoodles to it. I'll let it cook for like five minutes or so in the pan and then I will have my um, zucchini chow mein. I think also I am going to like um, take some chicken breast that I had bought out and cut it into cubes and just cook it up in a pan Kind of like the same way I did in the video where I made the zoodle chicken pesto thing, except obviously I won't add pesto, but like just do that and then add the chicken this, it'll be like chicken chow mein. So that is what I'm going to do and I am going to show you when it's done. So like basically I put all that in, I'm going to add in the zoodles in a couple minutes and the sauce I just whisked up, cook it for like five minutes and then I'll add in the chicken once I get that cooked. So. I will be back to show you the finished product. There is my beautiful finished zucchini noodle chow mein, but I have not added the chicken. I will put a little clip with a plate with the chicken on it once the chicken is done. The chicken is cooking right now, but the chow mein is done and it smells and looks really, really good. And here is my completed chicken chow mein made with zoodles instead of noodles and improvised with some other ingredients because I didn't have the exact ingredients from the recipe. So hopefully it tastes yummy. Get a fork. Right. And tell me how you like it. You gonna take a picture of me eating it or something? Wait, I gotta get wash my Come on, Jaden. I want to see if you like it. That's the test. If the teenager likes it. Is it a video? Why? Why you gotta take a video? I feel like I don't know how to eat them more just as you're recording. I just want to know if you like it. I like it. It's good. It would be vegan if I didn't add chicken to it. But you like it? Uh-huh. Yay!